All right, everyone. Um, I have purchased the iOS module upgrade for my power poles, which are basically, uh, I have two power poles, so there are two modules in here that have to be installed in your power poles. Um, they do come with instructions, but I'm gonna use the ones on the computer here uh, just so I uh, have everything in one spot. So I'll be installing these two into these two power pole pumps that are here. Uh, I have my laptop set up and I'm ready to go here. Uh, they, they do have instructions online. Uh, it looks like, you know, your first step is removing the four screws on the pump. Uh, then the circuit board does slide out. There is a small ribbon cable you've got to disconnect. Uh, and then the chips go right onto the motherboard. It already has a section there for them. Then you slide the uh, circuit board back down into the little grooves inside the chassis. And then you reconnect your cable. It's got a, a, a diagram on here on how to route your white cable so that you won't get any interference. Uh, you plug it back in and then you connect the USB port to it and then there's some programming you have to do. So I'm going to go through and get up to that stage here. I figured it'd be good to record this and show some video of it. Uh, there was nothing out there I could find uh, when I run into that situation. That's uh, definitely a call for trying to find some kind of a video. Uh, so I'm going to try to put this together in hopes that it'll help you guys. Stay tuned here for a moment. I'll film each part. All right, so step one is to remove these four screws. I'm going to go ahead and get these out. I uh, figure there's probably not probably not much uh, um, help here into uh, video in this for you, but just to show you the, the tops of these do come off. I'm going to I'm going to probably take both off at the same time and, and you know do one pump in the other and then leave them open and program them both. So uh, stay tuned. I'll get some pictures of it once it's open here. So, as you can tell, after the four screws come out, uh, the top just you can peel it over. There's a small ribbon cable right here. And you just want to pull that really easily. Make sure not to crease or mess that up. And then just set this to the side. Uh, that'll expose the circuit board and everything that we can get to. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then I'll be right back. Alright everyone, so I have pulled the circuit board out. It just literally pulled straight up and turned it here just so you can get a view of it. Um, when looking at the module that comes with it here, it uh, has connectors. They're flush on one side and the other side there's a little bit of a gap. From the directions that they have online, this flush goes flush with the very bottom of the circuit board. All right, for me, that means that when it goes back in there, these words will be upside down. That's the way it looks like in their diagram also. So just remember that this goes flush with the end here. It looks like it's uh, fairly simple to mount. It goes just like that. As you can see, it then gets pressed into place snugly. And that's pretty much it. Now, this gets slid back in, inside, and then I'll show you there's some instructions on how to route this, uh, this antenna to make sure that you give yourself no interference. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, get them both pushed back inside here. Um, and, uh, well, actually, let me just show you. There's nothing to it. There's a little channel right there. It goes right into it, and then it just pushes down inside. You sort of route your cables around here, and it pushes right down inside of the chassis, as you can see here. Uh, there's a wire over here in the way for me Hold on, right there. So as you can see, it goes right back down inside with zero trouble. Uh, the directions they have tell you to take this antenna and loop it out and around to make sure that you don't have any uh, any interference. Sorry for the background noise, guys. The, uh, it's a beautiful, cool morning here, and the uh, the bugs are at it. And unfortunately, I'm in a uh, path of a, of a, uh, the airplanes here. Um, but uh, but I'll take it. It's been 97 degrees and uh, it feels a little good So I was able to get here and do this I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side pulled out get the module on it get it back inside of here just like this And then we'll uh, we'll take a look at the next steps All right, everyone the next step of the show is to reconnect the ribbon cable I've laid one of the caps back in here We'll reconnect the ribbon cable and then you plug a USB cable into here and into your laptop for the next one now this ribbon cable uh, you can see it's got a shiny side and a dull side, so you want to go where the connectors are up Pretty much just want to get a good grip on it down here near the bottom and you want to put this in uh, Usually just a little bit of force is about all you'll have to apply here as you can tell I'm just gradually giving it a little more and there it goes just slid in 
Uh, once it slides up in there, you can check the connection and make sure that it's good and firm. Uh, but you don't want to crease this, you don't want to bend it. Uh, and then I also have a laptop hooked up, and that's what we'll move to in the next step here. But I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB power uh, and the connection to the computer. Now, I'd also like to mention that up until this point, I've got a kill switch on my pumps, and I've got that turned completely off. I wanted to be safe. It doesn't really say anything about the, in the instructions unless I missed it. Um, but I always turn everything uh, power off to everything when I'm working with electronics. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd have to put power to it for the next step. I don't know that it'll pull power off of the connection here, although USB does has power, have power through it. So we'll see. I'll try it here in a moment and I'll let you know. Okay everyone, uh, there are some instructions on here on scanning with the uh, computer tool to scan the USB ports to pick up your pumps. Your pumps do have to be powered on and they do have to be in what's called program mode. As you can see, this one, the light is blinking. Uh, they give you instructions here on how to put it in program mode. There's a couple of different ways. The easiest way that i found is their first method, which is you hold down the power button while it's turned on, which I'm going to do here. And then you turn the power off, so I'm cutting off the power to mine. And then you cut the power back on while holding that button down. And you just heard my computer beep. You hold that button for a second. The light stays green. You're now in program mode. So I will reposition the uh, camera here and then show you everything else on the laptop. All right, everyone, hooked up on my laptop. I've got the uh, Sea Monster utility, which you download from the PowerPole website. Uh, when you go to PowerPole, just go up under Products and go down to Sea Monster. Click on that; it'll take you over to the website for the software. Uh, and you just need to go up under the iOS version and, uh, and download the update utility. Um, that's to your computer. There's an iPhone app that we'll get to a little bit later on, but for right now we're just on the computer. I then have the instructions up here to the side of it. Basically it says to hold down control and to click on the scan USB port button. So that's what I'm going to do. Control click. It asks you for a code, which they say is 9010. So I'm going to type that in and hit enter. Uh, their next step is to put the, uh, once you click enter, is to go ahead and put the pumps into program mode. I went ahead and did that already because that seems backwards, but we'll see if I'm wrong. Uh, so we'll click uh, OK here, and it should start scanning. And it looks like it found it. It says, please wait. You're supposed to get a... Uh, Looks like you're supposed to get a, an acknowledgement here that your pump, there we go, your hydraulic pump is ready for the update. Press OK. This looks like from what I'm seeing here that it's a two-step process. It looks like it'll download some stuff. And then it says that it's supposed to tell you that the first phase is complete. Looks like the device will do a reset. And then you're supposed to disconnect, wait three seconds, and connect the USB port uh, once again. And then once you do that, it looks like it goes into a second download phase to download more data. And then after that's done, it looks like you're completely finished uh, and you can move on to the app. So let's try it and see what happens here. I'm going to say OK. And that's starting the download. First phase is complete. After the device resets, disconnects. So it's the same thing we said here. Let's see what happens. Uh, all I'm going to do is just disconnect the cable from the pump that we saw earlier. Wait three seconds. One, two, three. Plug it back in. You can hear it reenumerate the uh, port. And we do okay. Let's see what happens here. Make sure that I read that correctly. And scan USB ports again. So we're going to scan. Looks like it found it. This is ready. Probably initializing communication to the pump here. Alright everyone, so a little bit of a scare there, I didn't know what was going on, but uh, for some reason 
it did not uh, regain communication. So I tried disconnecting the USB port, I tried a couple different things. Finally, I just uh, powered the device off, waited another three or four seconds, and powered it back on, and then came back in and clicked the scan USB ports again. It found it this time, it went ahead and said it's ready, I clicked OK. I thought it was redoing the first part again, but it actually looks like it completed the second part and the device just rebooted and now the device is blinking so it's out of program mode so it's up and running so I'm gonna run through and program the other one really fast and then we'll look at the uh, iPhone and get some uh, get the iPhone app running and see what happens here be right back alright guys I'm on the second pump and I think I know what happened on the first one here so I'm gonna walk through this again I think I got in a little bit of a hurry so control click the scan Enter in 9010, hit OK. I've already put the pump into program mode prior to doing this and I have it hooked up, so just like we did on the first one. Alright, ready for the update, we're going to say OK. There it goes. Looks like it's through with that part. All right, first phase is complete. I think this is where I messed up before. It clearly says, um, if you read over in here, it gives you some notes about resetting it. So you're supposed to, um, uh, now you'd be prompted to disconnect the USB cable, wait three seconds, and then reconnect after you push the OK button. So the pump's already reset, it's back in program mode. So I'm gonna disconnect the USB cable. I think this is where I messed up last time. I clicked OK prior, uh, I actually plugged it back in and then clicked OK. Uh, so it says this time, you're supposed to click OK after you push the OK button. Excuse, you're supposed to, excuse me, you're supposed to plug it back in after you click the OK button. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna give that a second. Let the app restart. Now I'm going to plug in the USB port. You hear it get registered with the computer. And let's click scan USB ports and see what happens this time. Looks like I'm getting the exact same thing that happened before. It should go pretty quickly. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just reset the device again here. I'm gonna power it off and power it back on and see if it works like we did a moment ago. I'm cutting the power to it. I'll wait a few seconds here. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this so we can start it back up. I'm gonna turn the power back onto the pump. rerun this that was the other pump booting back up in regular mode this one is still showing in program mode so I'm going to click scan USB ports see what happens here and there it goes just like it happened on the other one so you can see, for some reason, I don't know if it's just USB communications or if the thing needed to be reset, but if you run into that same problem, it looks like you can just uh, give it a few minutes. If it doesn't proceed, you can, it's very quick, so it should happen fast. If it doesn't, then uh, power your pump off, wait a few seconds, and uh, close the app, and then uh, power your pump on and reopen the app. It shows that it's completed here, and the next step is to go get the utility off of uh, the Apple App Store. Uh, so uh, give me a few minutes here. I'm gonna reconfigure and I move stuff around here, the sun's getting on the screen and I don't want you guys to lose it. Okay everyone, I've got my iPhone up here for you. I'm gonna see if I can't get you a, a decent view of this, but when you install the Sea Monster Utility and you open it, it'll show your boat. Uh, it'll be in this configuration here. All you gotta do is tap and hold and you'll see it go into edit mode and then you wanna tap and hold briefly and then slide each of these pumps into your boat choose done that syncs them into your system hit connect 
and you are connected. They come up as uh, mine are coming up as single. That means they both act as one. Uh, if you take that off, you can choose whether they're starboard or a uh, port, uh, whatever you want to do there. But just to give you a little example here, if we come in and choose, uh, I've already got one down from playing around a moment ago. So let me just hit up and they'll go up, get them both in position. Let's go ahead and just increase the speed on these to get it up to 100%. Sorry, use my other finger. All right, and then let's do down. See both power poles deploy and up. Both power poles are up and running fine. Hit stop here. Now, just to give you guys a little bit more data here, just a quick run through. I'll do this as quick as possible. Um, there are all kinds of settings in here. You can go into system configure. You can choose everything from the bar, the bottom type, uh, sensitivity, sensitivity. You can add and remove remotes. You can change the settings on the speed and everything from the devices. But a very cool app works very well. As you can see, uh, that's how you install it. I hope the video has helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Uh, if not, uh, hit like on it, and uh, hopefully it'll get out there for some other people because uh, I couldn't find anything. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.